Good kitten internet. That one's still being wild because it's nighttime and... And yeah. So anyway, I thought I would give a bit of an update. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. It's been since before I started my job. You're going to have to forgive the kitty that is going crazy, or he does this every night. Um, he'll do it until I turn out the lights when I go to bed, basically. And I figured it'd be entertaining to do one of these while he's doing that. So, um, a few life updates. So I've now been employed for two weeks. <clears throat> this is actually a three-day weekend for me. I'm not used to having Martin Luther King Jr. Day off. Um, things aren't going as well as, as I would hope, work-wise. Um, long story short, imposter syndrome, not even entirely sure it's just imposter syndrome, but oh boy has that been beating the crap out of me. Um, as some of you may know, I have accepted a position. I have no idea what that cat is doing. Um, I have accepted a position. Sorry, he's, well, hold on, let me show you. Look at how fluffed his tail is. It was actually more fluffed right before I switched the video camera over. Ah, <sighs> anyway, so... Apologies for the finger covering. Um, so yeah, imposter syndrome has been utter hell. As uh, many of you know, I accepted a position as a software developer, even though I have very little professional experience as a software developer. I've been a system administrator. Those are very different positions. Uh, I compared it for my grandmother's purpose, who's not very technically savvy or anything, as basically... Think of it like uh, my grandmother worked for Sears, as in the retail giant in the U.S. that has gone pretty much completely bankrupt at this point. But they used to be like the Amazon of the 70s and 60s and 50s and so on. So my grandmother worked for them for 30 years, I believe, or more, probably. Um, and I compared it to her as, imagine if she was at Sears... And she decided to switch jobs to another company, and it's another retail company, but instead of her working retail work, she is now designing stores. Now, obviously, a retail worker is going to have some experience with store layouts and so on. It's not like they're completely going in fresh, but they've done never done architecture work before or anything like that. That's completely different from what they've done. That's kind of the analogy for me. This is nothing to do with things that I've directly done before. So it's rough. Um, on top of that, I've been having some problems. Here, let me switch back to me as much as Sunkeet is being very cute, but his tail's calmed down a little. Uh, let me put this back in the mount. Cool, I guess I'm going to have to edit this video later because I accidentally stopped it instead of paused it. Um, so... Um, problems with me, not just, hey, look, I'm definitely doing something that I don't feel I'm qualified for. And keep in mind, I applied for an IT position. They're actually the ones that pushed me toward dev. So it's not like they didn't know what they were getting into. Uh, it's not like I tricked them into thinking that I was capable of doing more than I am. I recognize that part, and I'm not affected by... Um, I'm not affected by the imposter syndrome from that perspective. I'm more affected by, holy crap, I am not ready for doing this, and work has been rough. Um, very isolating. I don't work very well by myself. Well, I work fine by myself. I don't work isolated very well, if that makes sense. So in other words, I could work on my own for an extended period of time. That's fine, but I need somebody to talk to. Even if it's not somebody who I'm working with. Um, the idea came across in my Discord, basically, of a... Basically, what I need is the equivalent of a co-working space. Even if the co-working space is entirely virtual. In other words, just like an open audio channel where we're just talking back and forth. Even if it's with people that are not exactly in the same industry, but similar enough where we can complain about things and they'll understand type of thing. 
and also where you can be vague enough where I don't violate a non-disclosure agreement when I complain about things, because that is a concern. I am under a non-disclosure agreement. I can't talk too much about my position as a result. Anyway, the main problem has actually been pain. So about a month ago, I, I don't know if I actually sprained my wrist or just strained it or what have you. I can actually feel it separate a little bit. So I definitely did something. When I was rearranging my, or Isun's bedroom slash my partner's bedroom slash now my office, I'm using it as my office. If my partner comes back, I'll just relocate myself from the office during the times that they're in there and in bed type of thing. But really, I just needed a separate space for myself, and I wanted it to not be taking up my housemate's area of the house, which is where I had my office set up before. So I set up my old desk, which is really heavy, and I think I injured my wrist when I was lifting the top part of the desk. It's not too surprising. I think that's, what, 20 kilos? 25 kilos? It's above the weight limit. Ow. Mm, I keep also doing things like that. Ow. I just knocked my ankle directly into the bed that I'm sitting on. Ow. Anyway, um, so I overdid it with my wrist, and that continued to hurt while I was in Indiana spending Christmas time with friends until I started having pain in my foot. Now, something when it comes to pain and me is that I'm not very good at telling you exactly where the pain is. I think it's something to do with the way my nervous system works in pain in that I don't necessarily feel pain exactly where the issue is. So, for instance, it took a bit for us to figure out that I had a kidney stone back when I had my kidney stone because the pain wasn't in the correct spot for the kidney stone. Turns out the kidney stone was actually a little bit lower down than where my pain was, which would explain a lot of things. But anyway, um, I started having issues with my foot, and what I thought it was was gout. I had gout only due to a side effect of one of my medications. I'm actually taking a separate medication to counteract the side effects of the first medication. Uh, but, um, so I thought it was gout at first, because it seemed to be generally around my toe and hurting a hell of a lot, to the point where I couldn't fall asleep properly. Uh, for reference on the pain scale, that is a 7 for me. 7 is also where I rank a kidney stone, for an example. It's basically, I cannot sleep while this pain is going on. Um... And yes, I've actually been in more pain than that. But anyway, um, moving along, um, I had that during the day, went to bed. I eventually fell asleep several hours later when the pain went down a little bit. I woke up. It's like, okay, my foot doesn't feel too bad today. Swung my feet out of the bed, went to go stand, and almost immediately fell over in pain on my right foot. Um, I could not walk. I could hobble, but that's about it. And that was the point where I'm like, okay, yeah, nope, we are figuring out a way around this. I had already called urgent care the night before, thinking that this was not urgent care. Um, I had called the nurse on call for my health insurance the night before, thinking this might have been gout and asking for anything to help relieve pain. I uh, was given some uh, anti-inflammatories. Uh, and... The next morning, called the nurse on call again, because the nurse on call the previous night told me, hey, look, if you're still having problems in the morning, during business hours, please call then, because then you're going to get the good nurses, or more precisely, you're going to get the nurses affiliated with your health network, um, which they told me to immediately drop everything and go to urgent care, which wasn't a great experience. I know I've said this part before, so I'm fast forwarding a bit. It wasn't a great experience, but they diagnosed me with plantar fasciitis, which I have had before. I've never had it in the presence of a medical professional, so it was never officially diagnosed. But now that it's officially diagnosed, sweet. Okay, I know how to deal with this. I need to slowly stretch my foot a little bit. I need to be gentle with it, and it will go away on its own. This was a far more severe case than normal, and it turns out it wasn't the only thing wrong. And that's where the whole... Really? Down? It's just a blanket. Anyway, um, that's where the whole my pain doesn't necessarily reflect exactly where it was, because the one thing with plantar fasciitis is that it usually doesn't hurt if you're not putting any pressure on your foot. 
being in bed overnight, I wasn't putting pressure on my foot. I think I might also be having gout-like symptoms at the same time. So, so stop ripping up into the sheets. So, um, I had a video appointment with a nurse practitioner because my doctor's out of office for this entire week unexpectedly. I hope everything's okay. But, and she basically went, yeah, so it's probably either gout or not gout. After a few blinks, she explained that you can actually have very similar to gout-like symptoms, but it's not technically gout. The treatment's identical. Everything's identical other than what the actual root cause is, which is a problem. They don't know what the root cause is. So she put me on new medication. Um, this is a different class of drugs and for five days. And she also had me take a foot x-ray because it could also be that I crushed some bones in my foot or it could have been um, not a bone spur. Um, condition with foot that's kind of like a bone spur. Anyway, I've completely lost it, but it could be several other things. So she had me go into the clinic to get an x-ray. I got my x-ray done, um, also picked up my medication at the same time, and in the time that it took for me to walk, or hobble, out of the area with the x-ray to wait for my turn on medication and pick up my medication, which was already waiting for me, uh, my x-ray results came back in. I have a perfectly normal foot. Well, other than the fact that it's completely flat and prone to plantar fasciitis and all sorts of other things. So, um, long story short, I have an appointment with a podiatrist. Unfortunately, the next available appointment is in May. End of May. Or no, it was middle May. But the medication, on the other hand, I started that today. I'm not in pain. The fact that I went from a 7 in pain just a couple of days ago, um, that would have been Tuesday and today's Friday for reference. Um, I'm going to have to edit this on Saturday. But um, go from a 7 to below a 1 is amazing. The more amazing part is this is actually the closest I have been to pain-free in over 20 years. Or almost exactly 20 years, actually. It's just a little over. So today's actually been the first good day that I've had in a long time. I tried to keep a positive attitude and so on while I was visiting friends because I was having fun just constantly in pain and also constantly bumping into things. Ugh. The sheer number of times I bumped into things with my damn toe. Ugh. Just like what I did right here with my ankle. Anyway, um... Other than that, uh, non-life things. So, Vandal Hearts, I am planning on getting back to the bonus um, battles post Vandal Hearts. I just haven't had a chance to. Um, it's a three-day weekend, so I'm probably going to get a chance to it this weekend. And following games. So, I have decided that I'm going to play Hollow Knight. But I don't know if I'm playing that next, or if I'm going to throw in a couple of random, like, one video or one to three video length series type of thing on a couple of other random games that I've been playing lately. Um, that's probably going to be Endless Space 2 and Factorio, because that's pretty much all I've been playing lately. Or I may end up covering some new pieces of computer hardware that I'm going to be getting, because I actually have a paycheck now! Ah, that feels nice to actually get paid again. <laughs> Other than that, that's really about it. I need to go to bed because it's kind of late and my morning meds, the new morning meds that I've been put on, I'm required to eat with. Otherwise, it will drain a hole in my stomach. I'm already having some major gastrointestinal issues as a result of medication, but you know what? I'm not in pain. I've got to account for something. Anyway, I'm going to let that cat finally fall asleep. Bye, Internet. Hope you had a good kitten.